there will be a time when Mars is thoroughly explored. What then? What should we do with Mars? If there is life on Mars, then I believe we should do nothing to disturb that life. Mars, then, belongs to the Martians, even if they are microbes. But suppose that Mars is, in fact, lifeless. Might we, in some sense, be able to live there to somehow make Mars habitable like the Earth, to terraform another world? As lovely a world as Mars is, it poses certain problems for us. There's too little oxygen, no liquid water, and too much ultraviolet light. But all that could be solved if we could make more air. With higher atmospheric pressures, liquid water would become possible. With more oxygen, we might be able to breathe the atmosphere, and ozone could form to shield the surface from the solar ultraviolet light. The evidence for past liquid water suggests that Mars once had a denser atmosphere, which can't have all escaped to space. It has to be on the planet somewhere. In subsurface ice, surely, but most excessively in the present polar caps. To vaporize the ice caps, we must heat them, preferably by covering them with something dark to absorb more sunlight. That thing ought also to be cheap and able to make copies of itself. Well, there are such things. We call them plants. We would need to evolve by artificial selection and genetic engineering dark plants able to survive the severe Martian environment. Such plants could be seeded on the vast expanse of the Martian polar ice caps, taking root, spreading, giving off oxygen, darkening the surface, melting the ice, and releasing the ancient Martian atmosphere from its long captivity. We might even imagine a kind of Martian Johnny Appleseed, robot or human, roaming the frozen polar wastes in an endeavor which benefits only the generations to come. It might take hundreds or thousands of years.